So I hope you were able to find a counterexample, but I'm going to show you what would happen if we tried to give this task to ChatGPT. Could ChatGPT solve this problem? If we find that ChatGPT is able to solve such refute problems, once again, you should ask yourself, why is Professor Viraj asking me to develop this skill? Well, just because ChatGPT is able to solve this particular problem, we'll see if it can or can't, doesn't mean it's going to be able to solve complex problems. And we will see more complex examples of refute as we proceed. And please remember, the whole point of solving these refute problems is to develop our mental muscle to doubt such code. And if we can see a problem, we should be able to demonstrate that the code is faulty by providing an input on which the code fails. Well, let's copy paste this code and give it to ChatGPT and ask it. Let's see if it can find an input on which this code fails. So I will ask ChatGPT, find an input on which this code fails. And once again, I will press Shift Enter so that I can now paste the code that I copied. And let me see if ChatGPT can find a failing input. So ChatGPT ends up producing a long answer. Um, it first tries to understand the logic of the given code. It identifies a line in the code that it believes is problematic. And it says that the issue lies in this check. It says this condition is comparing the current character, which is SI. Remember, we are trying to iterate through the letters of the string until we hit the success condition. And this is the success condition. So it compares the current character SI with the lowercase version of the substring before it. So the substring that came before it is S colon i, and then the lowercase version of that. So it looks like ChatGPT has comprehended this code correctly. The problem, it goes on to say, is that here this comparison only works when, only works correctly when the repeated character has appeared exactly in the portion of the string before i. Well, of course, because that's what we intended. And it does not account for cases when the repeated character might appear later, but has appeared earlier in a different case. Now, this is a bit muddled. And in fact, you will find that when you look at the reasoning traces of ChatGPT, or indeed the reasoning traces of so-called reasoning models, at least the reasoning traces that we see typically in models in mid-2025, you will see examples of very muddled logic. I encourage you to read this uh, explanation that ChatGPT has produced very carefully, and you will find that it is quite muddled. It is really not clear what exactly ChatGPT is getting at. However, ChatGPT in this case is able to suggest an input that will refute the given code. And it suggests a very short input, just two letters. So let us actually try this out. Let's copy paste this as a suggestion. ChatGPT is telling us that the expected behavior is this function should return little a, right? Uh, it says the function should return little a. Since little a and capital A are to be treated the same, we want to be case insensitive. And then that becomes the first repeated letter. In fact, there are no other letters. So this was the only chance of having a repeated letter. So let us try ChatGPT's input here on code check. I will paste that. The expected answer is little a. And what do we think this code returns? Well, let us suppose we believe that this code will return capital A. We can check that, of course, by clicking on code check. And it will tell us that, in fact, it does not return capital A. 
In fact, this code cannot return the capital version of any letter because we know it always returns the lowercase version of some letter. So if it is producing an incorrect answer, it must be that it's failing to find this little a being repeated. So it's returning the empty string. When we check that, we will indeed get the success message. So you see, ChatGPT was able to find a failing input in this case. ChatGPT was able to refute this code. Let's quickly go ahead and check the rest of its explanation. It said that the code will fail because it will check the substring little a before index 1. Well, it shouldn't find little a at index 1. Remember, little a appears at index 0 in this string. So here again is an example where the reasoning that ChatGPT is providing is flawed. The letter A that it will find at index 1 is the capital version of the letter A. And it will miss the fact that little a and capital A are the same due to case insensitivity. So this reasoning is trying to explain why this check is failing. When the string is little a, capital A, and we are at index 1, then S square bracket 1 is capital A. And we would be checking if that capital A is in the lowercase version of the string up to index 1. Well, the string up to index 1 is just the little a. The lowercase version of the string is just little a again and capital A does not appear in little a. So this test would fail and this is why the given code is returning the value empty string. It is failing to find this letter capital A in the earlier substring because this check on line 12 is incorrect. So you can see that ChatGPT has found a correct input on which the code fails. It has even zeroed in on the line that is problematic. But its explanation is very, very muddled. So as always, we must not blindly trust what our AI returns. In this case, what it produced was actually quite helpful. It helped us refute this code, but it wasn't a perfect explanation of why the code failed on this input.